And we're back with more exciting adventures of the Incredible Hoax. I am Chris. I am Mark. Well, you, well, you did your eyes like you're like I was taking forever to do that. <laughs> you're like, fine. Did you're you fine. see that? He was like, Jesus I'm Christ! Just, I was just, just trying to think ahead, you know. Taking for fucking ever to open this. No, no, no. Show. Just try to be prepared. We want to bring our A game to all right. Ink hoax. Well, the summer movies are kind of like we're in that weird zone where they're, they're fixing the hit. The Incredibles start this weekend. Yeah. And then we'll have Jurassic Park. But there's that weird, There's they, they kind of hit and they kind of back off and then they take off again. So we're yeah. in that weird lull. Right. And they're fixed to take off again. And so we're kind of not a whole lot of movies topics to talk about. Uh, football is in, you know, mini camps just finished. So there's nothing we'll talk about until training camp at the end of July. So they're in the dead zone. So we're going to branch out and talk about some non sports, popular culture, movie things to which you have. I have a rant. I've been sitting on this for a while. Oh, I have a rant. You're sitting on a rant. Yes. I've decided for the rest of my life, if I go to a restaurant and I'm paying good dollars for a meal, I don't care if it's like fast food, you order at a counter and you get your food and you leave, or if I'm at a sit-down restaurant Mm -hmm. and you're waiting on. I'm not going to deal with any more of these employees that have this kind of, gah, you know, anything you ask for this, gah, G-A-W, this kind of gah attitude where they're, 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 oh, I don't want to be at work. I don't really want to serve you. I don't really want to be here. It's like, well, then don't wait on me. You know, better yet, I'm going to leave and, you know, when other people like me just stay away, then good luck uh, making a salary. I'm sick of this. It's like, look, no one expects you to love your job. No one expects you to love flipping burgers or whatever you're doing. But, you know, at least just show some common courtesy or just, you know, be nice or pleasant and let's all get through this thing. But no, 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 it's going to... God, G A W, and it's like I'm just, I just, I'm sick of it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with it. I've reached a certain age. I'm just, I'm, I'm through. I've worked too hard to make my few, my few pennies to my check, and I'm gonna so, give that to someone like that. No. All right, you're, be, you're, you're, you're being vague. So don't name the restaurant. You don't have to name the restaurant. Uh, just what happened? What happened? Well, uh, there was a restaurant. Say the type of food. Just say the type of food. Uh, well, this is a burger joint. All right, well, that's good. Uh, well, that, well, that good? At this burger joint, which I had been a fairly... I was a regular, I was a regular. They even knew my name when I go in. They'd, they'd write my name. Local or chain? It's a local place. Local? Make, this makes it even worse. Wow. Okay. I go Do in tell. there. tell. I go in there, and immediately the girl went on her... And you know you're in trouble because all she's, like, she's giving me this whatever. Really. And and the thing was, we're not talking about. Usually people are like, oh well, she's 17, she's 18. No, she's like late 40s. Okay, something like that. Well, there's a reason she's working at a burger joint at late 40s. So right. I'm expecting more out of an adult, but needless Again, to say, there's a reason she's working at a burger joint in her late 40s. I go there and she just looks at me, not how may I help you, hello, none of that. She just stares at me. Wow. Okay. And I'm like, okay. So I, I, I'm like kind of waiting for her to say something. And then she just, I think she even tapped, which I can't stand. Don't do the whole pencil tapping on a, on your little pad, your order right, pad. Right, That's right, a, right. such a turnoff. So anyway, to cut to the chase, I order my meal. I sit down, I wait. I see that they have a one of those little. I get it to go because it's my lunch hour for work. Uh huh. There's a, you know, those little hot, the hot lamps. Oh I, yeah. I see a brown. Well, the orders ready. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go. I saw a brown bag go up there. Well, I don't. They're getting so many orders. I don't know that it's mine, but I did see it go up there. This one in particular, and I'm waiting and I'm waiting, and people have come in behind me. Uh oh. And they're getting waited on, and I'm like, what is going on here? Uh-huh. So finally, I go up there, and, I, and it's been 20 minutes, 20 minutes. For, for a burger joint. Yeah, and I thought, I've time. been patient long enough. 20 minutes is a long time for a burger joint. So I go up there, and I'm like, where's my food? They just go over there, and they're, they're like, they didn't even like say what my name is. They just like grab one and just shove it there. 
And I'm like, well, is this mine? And they're like, and they look at it and they're like, is your name Mark? I'm like, yes. And then, and then she turns to walk off. I said, are you kidding me? And then she, she turns back around and like, like, well, what? what? What is wrong? And I'm like, I said that. And so now I'm mad. Yeah. Now I'm really mad. Yeah. I'm like, I don't mind that it got busy and you forgot me. I can excuse that. It's just an apology. Sure. All I'm looking for is an apology. But she's just wanting me to leave, to get out of her hair. It's right. that gah attitude, right? Right. And I'm like, lady. Again, you, there's a reason that she's late yes. 40s and working in a it's like joint. It's like, slow down. Just take the 20 seconds to listen to your customer. Realize you've left a customer. Right. Totally forgot about it. Just apologize. And it's, it's, an, it's an aggravation, but you get sure. over it. And I would have went back a few days later and would have been a regular customer yeah. still. No. Then they they go into Bizarro World. She 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 stares at me when I ask about the food, how long I've been sitting there. I've already been late. I'm not expecting her to do what she just did. The cook comes along, grabs it, throws it in anger. The cook does. With anger. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. I hit the road. Throws it in anger in the trash can. So mm-hmm. now I gotta wait another I don't know how long oh, shit. it ends up being another eight minutes before I get my deal. And like, that's not what I wanted you to do. I just was looking for an apology. So now I am really red faced and mad yeah. and she's over there cooking and she's really mad, whatever. And I'm like, okay, now I've got the, a gaw cashier and now I got a ticked off cook Good. and no one's apologizing. And now you're making me wait your mistake and you're costing me an extra eight right, minutes. Right, right, right. So then she throws it out there. And, and whatever, still no apology. Yeah. And I'm like, and I'm looking at her like, are, are, I'm like, are y'all kidding? Look, what, what, what? And I, this is after she brought it back. And I'm like, so I'm like still trying to give her an opportunity right. to slow down and give me an apology. Nope. Nope. Yeah. And she's just looking at me like, because you need something else? And I thought, no, I guess not. And I just left. And yeah. I haven't been back. You're, so there's nor, my story. Nor, nor will you be. All right. So I know a lot of restaurants. Uh, owner managers because of my my work with social media and stuff and I see a lot all, all the reviews that go online and um, uh, I can tell you for a fact the owners and the good managers care all the owners I deal with care about the reviews they care that you had a good experience yeah they want to yeah now is there a line where some customers are just assholes oh yeah, there's some. I understand that. There are some customers that come in looking for a fight. They're looking for something to go wrong, to complain, yes. to get something taken off the meal, something for free. That's undeniable. Uh, uh, but in general, uh, the owners and man- good managers want to make sure you have a good experience and do whatever they can. Mm-hmm. If something went wrong, they want to know. They want to know when it happened, what the circumstances were. You busy? Were you not? Time of yeah. day. All that stuff. And a lot of times, if you give that to an owner or manager, yeah. they'll they'll go look at I know for a fact, all the owners that I talk to, they'll go back and look at footage and see what the circumstances were. Uh, if, 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 if they can make it right with the customer, they'll try to and they will. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, like I said, and I'm not joking. I mean, there's a reason why you're late 40s and you're working in a burger, jo- burger joint. By that time... Right. Most people with their shit together have a a full on career doing something else. They're not settled for an hourly job in the service industry. Right. Um, you know, people that are actually managing or owners, they're in there to make a living. That's a career and stuff. That's a different thing. But if you're just an order taker at that point, there's something. I mean, you. I mean, I mean, people are gonna get mad all they want, but they know it's true. There's, you've made bad decisions in your life. You're yes. not a well-rounded person. You may be trying to fix your shit, but I guarantee you, in your 20s or 30s, you fucked up something, mm. and you did some drugs, yeah. or drank your paychecks or something. Right. I, 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 there's abuse. Yeah. Something bad happened. There's I something. A, there's a red flag on there's your There's something resume. fucked up. Yeah. I'm, I'm betting tattoos and the whole thing, I'm sure. I, don't even, I know. I know without you even telling me. Yeah. Yeah, see? So, anyway. For, you, for the podcast, people, I was nodding. Yes, he was nodding. I, I don't know. He had, he's not. I did not hear the story until he told it on the air. Right. We did not talk about this at all before. Right. 
So, the only thing I'll say is I'll defend the owners and the good managers. They want to know, and they will fix it. Yeah. If you were to somehow reach out to whoever owns that place, I promise you they would fix it and they would care. Now, do you want to fuck with that and go through the trouble of doing it? That's up to you. That's a personal decision. Yeah. But I'll, I'll give you a, a good example of, of, of something. So, to, literally today, again, not knowing you're going to tell a story, I went to Schmaltz's, Waco you know, institution sandwich shop, the one over on Valley Mills. We got there before the lunch rush, 11 or so. And Nelson, the owner, and they're one of my clients, and, and I do work for Nelson. And Nelson, the owner, is back there. He's making sandwiches. He's the guy there putting together the, the, the mayonnaise and the meat and the cheese, and he's slinging it. And he's like, hey, Chris, thank you for coming in. And then some other guy, hey, Joe, thank you for coming in. There's some police officers. Hey, hey, officer, thank you for coming. He's back there making sandwiches, owns the place. He could, I mean, usually, I don't, I don't think he always is working back there. If today he was, maybe he's shorthanded, maybe he just wanted to, I don't know. But he was back there, the one making sandwiches. He could easily force an employee back there and go to the office or go home or whatever. But yeah, he's a he's an engaged owner. He's he's part of the process. He's It matters to him that he's making good stuff that day, right. every day. And he has enough skin in the game that back behind the counter, back at the at the at the at the 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 the, 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 the making table, whatever you call that thing, that table yeah. where they make the sandwiches, is waving at me, waving at other people. Yeah, you know he's got skin in the game, and I think I think the biggest problem is a lot of these uh, people, unfortunately, they're just looking for a paycheck. They're there to ride that clock for their shift. And get a paycheck yeah. so they can go drink on on the weekend or whatever else they want to do. Right. There's no skin in the game. It doesn't make a shit if you ever come back to them or not. They don't give one iota. And it's hard. It's hard in the service center to find employees that actually care. It's really hard. Um, yeah, and we, and we know it's not a certainly not a glamorous job, and we know it's not uh, the most thrilling of jobs. So we don't expect everyone to be like super psyched and everything like that but yeah. you know you can you can still be pleasant with somebody hello, hello how may i serve you today now that that didn't i did that with all without any pom-poms you know uh and that's all you're looking for and if you make a mistake most people understand if you're like hey we're really sorry we we were we were so late with this or or whatever and most people understand and will say well okay thank you for that uh, no problem and uh, and in my case, I was not thinking of oh I'm going to be so mad you're going to foul this up so bad after me giving you I don't know how many chances to get this right. It's just they just kept making the wrong decision. It just kept getting worse and worse. It's like all I'm trying to do was looking for it was just and I'm I'm sorry. And they they but they were so like just wanting me to leave. Yeah. They're thinking I want you out of here because you're. Because we, we don't want you know we don't want to be here. We want you out of here. You're bothering us. It's like that. It's that attitude is why you're not saying you're sorry. You're not even thinking. Oh, this we've wronged you're this just, guy. I just want you. You're a number. Get out of here. Yeah. And that is why I'll never go back to that place. Right, 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 right. I mean, it, yeah. When these things happen, I'm not Captain Hindsight. You know, that's one of the things I hate when you tell these type of stories that happen. To, you know, something like that will happen to you, and you'll go. Hey man, this happened to me, and that person will go, "Well, you told the manager, I, I'd have told them, blah blah blah." You know, we have a certain relative that 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 is 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 Mister Captain Hindsight, that yeah, that, to the point of like he just makes things miserable. You can't even tell him things because of it. And uh, <laughs> well, you know those those things like you think about uh, some people will like, yeah, I'll do that or not. But you know, right, what it's, you gotta do? What you gotta do? It's my time. They already robbed me out of. 30 minutes out of my lunch hour at least and now I'm going to like go and take up more of my free time to like to, to, I don't know what I'm going to accomplish I'm not going to change the past you know I might help them handle a situation better in the future but it's it's, it's kind of like it's it, it's done and the way I look at it I was in there I think at least 35 minutes total time but with me walking in and finally giving up and leaving with my Sandwich. Twenty five minutes. Thirty five. It was closer to thirty five. Yeah. It was. Well, remember, it was like oh, close to twenty five oh, yeah. when I went to ask them where my food was. She threw it. Drive time. You had to eat on the drive back, or eat your desk when you got back, or whatever. Yeah. Well, thankfully, 
where this place is is not far uh, from uh, where I work. Okay. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah say anymore. All right. <laughs> well, I don't know. if I'm sure. I'm not going to count the hindsight yet. Who knows? I, I, all, all I'll say is... In defense of owners, and I won't, I can't defend employees because it means, I mean, I mean, there's a reason they're in the service industry usually at that level, yeah. at that age. Uh, I just know from the owners that it does matter. And if, and, and 99 times out of 100, if you give the owner a chance, they'll, they'll fix it. So, but that's yeah. not the hindsight you. That's just, right, right. That's just to say on camera to make sure that the other side is told now. Well, and, my last word would be to all restaurant owners, just inform your employees that the difference of 10 seconds of just stopping and just, just admitting a mistake is the difference between keeping and losing a customer. Well, there's a reason why Chick-fil-A is successful. So there you go. Ch Chick-fil-A, you show up, man. It's like, how you doing? Have a great day. Or how's your day? Yeah. Man, decided to be alive. Man, you want some chicken sandwich, motherfucker? You know, it's like... <laughs> Do you want to hear my, my very quick Chick-fil-A story? Dan, on a happier note. Yeah. Uh, this this really happened to me. I'm, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed to tell this story. About, I don't know, 16, 17 years ago, I go to Chick-fil-A, and I lunch, and I order, and the cute girl, the cashier, she, she, I, she says this phrase after she has her food. It'll be my it'll be my pleasure, she says. Yeah, they say that shit. Blizzard, and well, but it was when they first started doing that. Well, I yeah. didn't know that was like a thing. I thought that lady just was saying that to me. Oh, I so was flirting. So I go to work and I'm thinking, hey, was hey, was she flirting? So I go back a few days later, you know, like okay, was busy. And then I get this time I get an older woman who's like 65 working there and then she gives me the line and it was in that moment i'm like oh she wasn't the yeah. the lady wasn't flirting with me the other day this is a thing is so i really felt like you remember, you know where bugs bunny yeah the looney tunes characters he like he catches himself in a jackass move and his head momentarily turns, turns to, to a donkey yeah. I, I felt like that for a moment yeah. it's like she wasn't flirting it's a thing. Well, that now that goes into waitresses and tips and, and all that kind of stuff. They're, they're just being nice to you to get tips. I mean. Uh, well, just, I was younger I and all about less cynical. I'm very cynical now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just If you just go through life jaded, you'll be a much happier person. Y yeah, I hope. <laughs> speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of being jaded to the point of uh, ecstasy. I do. 